Hey rainbows! So this episode is going to be a bit different. I know in the last episode I said that we were going to have Corn Farm's wedding in this episode. However, I had to do an emergency change of plans. If you saw on Instagram and on my community posts on YouTube, I found out that I have carpal tunnel. So I have to wear these wrist braces. I don't know how long I'm gonna to have to wear them, but if you see me wearing them in videos, that is why. But I had to do some major resting and couldn't edit any anything like pictures or videos especially and I had to find an alternative so I'm, I'm just gonna let you guys know this because if anybody has to go through this as well I just don't want anyone to experience like the pain that I had to go through so I'm gonna tell you guys what I did I had to first of all get like an ergonomic mouse and an ergonomic keyboard and then these like mouse pads for your wrist and then like one for the keyboard as well and then I ended up getting a tablet to edit pictures and videos. So I was trying to do some research on like what mouse the like video editors, what they use. And they were saying like, if you're really serious about it, you probably want to get a tablet. So I ended up getting a tablet. I've been editing my pictures on Instagram on it for a while and I have not edited a video yet. This is going to be the first video that I'm editing on it. I was still having a little bit of trouble with my wrist. So that's why this episode is going to be just like updates and talking and like a little bit more similar to a stream. Usually for episodes, I like edit out the space between my words and obviously like the machinimas and stuff too I have to edit so I'm not really going to be doing that in this video unless I make like a super mistake or something but this video is going to be a lot more chill so just like sit back and relax I'm going to talk a little bit in the beginning of this but what I'm going to do is give you guys an update on like all the noble families and I, I don't think there's really any other royal family well we might see a royal family or two that we haven't really seen but we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna talk about the new pack that's gonna come out so i will talk about that later in the video and i think that's really going to be it i um we'll talk about a few other things too oh but there has been a few changes since the last episode some like a couple weeks have passed so i have a new desk a new setup i have a new chair i cut my hair um so yeah this is a new setup it's like an l-shaped desk and it's like so much more room for me to work so i am really excited about this i was like holding off on investing in like all this newer stuff because we thought we were going to move to la but we had to postpone that because of the pandemic so we don't really know when we're going to move now so i figured we might as well like be comfortable while we're here and then Whenever we move and we're ready, then we'll move. And then I do also want to let you guys know too, I don't know how many machinimas I'm going to be able to do for the next several episodes because I do want to take it easy. So that means that I don't know if Kimi and Makana is going to have a machinima for their engagement. I did say that all the heirs and monarchs, they would have, at least for like their, no, I think I said it for their engagement, didn't I? Maybe if I'm better by their wedding, I can have one for their wedding to like make up for it. I just feel bad because I didn't even have one for the first kiss either, like I did with other people. But I, if it's not a machinima, then it'll be a story post on my Instagram. Um, I definitely want to do machinimas though for when Alice May's story picks back up again. So it's kind of like on a break right now. We'll visit them every once in a while but I have the main story stuff planned around the debutante ball time so that's probably not gonna be for another like seven episodes it kind of depends on how things go but I definitely need to do a machinima by then but I feel like the timing works out because I think by then I should be able to do one um, but till then I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to do so yeah I think that's everything um, one more thing though because I totally messed this up in the last episode so the machinima from the last episode with I almost said corn farm um, with Caspian and how we found out how he got expelled so I said the flashback was three years ago it was not supposed to be three years ago it was supposed to be like eight months ago I don't know where I got three years from I was like so so focused on the machinima because that was like probably the most difficult one I think I've done so far. So I was so focused on that that I just had like a complete brain fart when it came to the timeline for the flashback. So it had said three years ago, it was supposed to be eight months ago. I think I was thinking three years because that's when Caspian like first moved to Winnenberg, like when his parents got divorced. So that must have been what I was thinking of, but no, it was like eight months ago, not three years ago. So just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. And I guess I'll just go in the order I usually go of like 
the first kingdoms to like the later added kingdoms. Oh, and also I want to reassure you guys too, because I got a lot of comments. I forgot to say this before, but I promise this is not going to be any strain on my wrist. I'll make sure it's not because a lot of people were saying that they don't want us or they don't want me to do this if I was going to be feeling any pain. So I promise I'm not, but you guys are super, super sweet. Like all of the comments and messages and everything I got from you guys just made me so happy. And I really appreciate, I appreciate you guys caring so much too. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you real quick, but yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and start. So let's go ahead and start with Windenburg. I'm just going to show you guys like the noble families we have. Most of these noble families you guys know, so we won't spend too much time here. And then once we get to Guangxi, I'll talk about the new pack. So of course we have obviously our royals and everything. Um, here we have Char, oh nope, not Charles and Fallon. I keep thinking of the marquee and they're not. So this right here is, I also, I don't know if I'm gonna go into all of the households unless I like don't, know them very well and need to figure out where exactly on the family tree they are. But this is Lord Jaden and this is Lady Ezra. They need to be changed to Marquis and Marchioness. So actually let's go there. But before we go there, I just want to show you guys too. So you guys know Charles and Fallon, they're living here. They are the Count, Cat, no, sorry, the Earl and the Countess. And then we have our Duke and Duchess, Kellen and Meghan, you guys know them, and William, of course, their son. And then we have Diana and Abraham. So Diana is the Baroness of Windenburg, and they were living in the second palace, but I moved them to the actual home. And then of course we still have like, like they can still go back here anytime they want to, but I figured I might as well move them here because this is originally where I had the Baron and Baroness. But yeah, let's go here and I can talk about them a little bit too. So this is actually uh, Marchioness Anna slash Princess Anna. This is one of her daughters. She had three, do three daughters. So if you didn't know, um, we, or Anna, sorry, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I know I can't edit this, so you guys are gonna see how much I actually mess up my words and edit stuff out in episodes. But Anna was Henry's youngest sister. So he had two sisters, Cora and Anna. And Henry, of course, is Amira's father. So this is Ezra. She is Amira's cousin. And then her, the middle sister, so she's the oldest, the middle sister is Aurora. She's married to Duke Kona of Sulani, who we will see later. And Kona is Makai's younger brother. And then her youngest sister, Sidira, is Queen Sidira of Brindleton Bay. So if you didn't know, this is their oldest sister. Ezra, so she is supposed to be Marchioness Ezra. So I didn't really follow this in the past. Let's go to rename. Um, but since she has the title, because her mother had the title, since she has it, her husband should actually stay Lord. Um, I and you guys will see it later with like Duke James of Brindleton Bay and Lord Ian. It's because since she has the title, if her husband had the marquee title, they would assume that he had the title. I don't know if that makes much sense, but I did research on it and that's what they said. So since she has the title, technically her husband is supposed to stay Lord. And I don't, I haven't been following that with everyone in the past, but I, I think I'm going to start doing it. So Marchion, Marchionis Ezra. Okay. Um, so I'm going to keep her husband as Lord Jaden, and then this is their son, Lord Winston. He is about to turn into a teenager, so he'll be doing that like any second. Should I just do that now? Let's just do that now. Um, let me use MC Command Center to age you up. So set age teen. Okay. All right. So he is neat. Let's do random neat and squeamish. I don't know, let's do knowledge, I guess. Renaissance sim, sure. So I obviously need to pick out his outfits and stuff, but I'll do that another time. So yeah, this is one of our noble families. Let's go to save and manage worlds. This is our noble family. This is the Marchioness of Windenburg. And you guys already know the other ones too. Also, this is, um, my loading screen by fitness to cosplay so she was nice enough to offer to make me one we just like the other day like the last stream took an updated monarch picture so it would have adric instead of cayman 
but I haven't finished editing it or posted it yet, so I will do that soon, but I'll definitely need to update it once I get there. But yeah, that's by Fitness to Cosplay. She has a YouTube channel, she streams, and um, I will figure out where she makes them. Like I'm assuming she does requests for loading screens. So I'll link all that information down below. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything in Windenburg. There is a prime minister of Windenburg. We will meet them another time though, because I, I want it to be kind of a surprise. But next we are going to go to, let's go to Oasis Springs. Now I didn't say this before, um, because you guys are probably wondering what happened to the other nobles, but if you didn't know, I think I've mentioned this in a video before, but on the streams, occasionally we'll kill some sims. It's actually a redeemable reward to kill a sim on my stream, and I have final say over who the sim is, but it's usually a noble that will probably never appear in the storyline, so there's definitely some sims that are not here anymore. A couple times we've gotten rid of an entire family, so if you're wondering what happened to some of them, that is what happened. I know that sounds horrible, but you know what? People have done worse things in The Sims, so we needed to make room for all the babies that are coming this baby season. So that's what we did in the streams. Um, but in here we have, so this is the Marquis. This is Marquis Michael. This is Nea's youngest brother. She has two brothers, but this is her youngest one. If you guys don't remember um, him and Lady Helena, they had Lorda J, who we will see in Willow Creek because they got divorced, um, but they had Lorda J when they were teens, so then they were forced to get married. And then later on, they had Lady Rosalind. So Lorda J right now is with his mother living in Willow Creek, because Michael and Lady Helena got divorced. So he still has the title of Marquis. She's back to Lady Helena. But their daughter, Lady Rosalind, who, if you guys remember, her and Aisha didn't get along very well. But she's now married to, uh, well, he was, okay, so he was Baron Romeo of Windenburg. But I, I know he would probably inherit the title anyway, but he's going to stay here because we needed to make room for Charles and Fallon and Diana and Abraham. So he's gonna go back to Lord. I should probably change that now, shouldn't I? You guys can see, oh, um, I don't know what the name of the slot is called, but I kind of thought this would be like the second palace of Oasis Springs too, because all the nobles, they, used, they live in that like, that area on the left over there. Um, but Michael has been living here for quite a while and I, I should probably move him soon. I might do that eventually. But yeah, this is like my idea of the second Oasis Springs Palace. However, I don't usually do much here, but what did we need to do? Okay, so we have Romeo. So we're going to go to Sim Commands, maintain Sim, rename Sim. This is Lord Romeo. And then he's gonna take her last name. Okay, but yeah, they're living here and him and Rosalind are married. And this is Rosalind's father, Michael. And I will probably move them back to one of the other houses. Yeah, this house is open here, so I might just move them there. But then of course we have, this was Gabriel's, or is Gabriel's family. So we have Earl Jack and Countess Arya. So this is the other thing too. Like she is the one who has this title. So he would just be Prince Jack because he was Prince of Willow Creek. So I might change that. I don't know, you guys can let me know your thoughts. It's just like, I'm trying to make things a little bit more accurate in the game, like names too. I, I haven't been making them completely culturally accurate. I would just like name them after you guys when I had, when there were less people making suggestions um, or I would just pick names of people I know. But I think I'm gonna start making the names more culturally accurate. So I'll definitely do that. And then I wanted to make this stuff more accurate too, like who would have the title, even though I know it can get a little bit more confusing, but I will do that eventually. But yeah, this is Gabriel's parents and this is his little sister, Lady Minerva or Minnie. She's dating William and then we, or sorry, Lord William. So Kellen and Meghan's son, if you didn't know. Um, and then we have the Duke of Oasis Springs. So this family's kind of messy because uh, we had to move half of this family out of Windenburg. So let's actually go into this family because I don't know who is related to who. A lot of people were asking me like how I keep track of all the royals and nobles and stuff. I'm much more familiar with my royals, um, but the nobles, I don't really keep track of them very well. So you guys are seeing that now. It's hard with so many Sims 
but I definitely have to check and look at things a lot. Um, but this right here, oh, she's not wearing any clothes, hold on. Um, but this is Duchess Lorelei, and she is married to, oh, whoops, sorry. Um, she is married to Lady Gina, and then this is Lorelai's sister, Cara. She is actually one of the deceased King Adrian, or I guess late King Adrian's, one of his bastard children, but she doesn't know that. So the only one who knew that Adrian was their father was Charlotte, um, and then the other children don't know at all. So yeah, but that that's her little sister, and this, is Lord Robert. So let's look at all of these family trees. Okay, so Gina was from Windenburg. Pretty sure we... Okay, yeah, Earl Gianni. So yeah, Death by Cowplay. He was one of the Sims that we killed on the stream. And then I didn't realize this was probably from MC Command Center, but her parents had had another kid. I thought like one of them had the kid, but no, this is her younger brother. So this is Lord Robert her younger brother. So he has moved in with them because I think originally he was living with his older brother, but then we killed him. So, um, and then his parents had already passed away. And then here we have Lady Nora. So Nora's parents um, had passed away too. So she moved in with her aunt. So her father was Earl Gianni. Oh my gosh, looking at the family trees now, I feel so bad. But her father was Earl Gianni, which is, Lady Gina's brother. So she had to move in with her aunt because we killed her father. And then we have Lord Sebastian and he is Duchess Lorelei and Lady Gina's son. But yeah, this house is just have, it, it has a lot of random people that had to move in here. So this one's a little bit confusing, but the main thing is that this is Duchess Lorelei and this is her wife, Lady Gina, and then the, the rest of the family is is just there. So yeah. Oh, I should probably change her name too. So, oh, if you didn't know, the rename mod does not work anymore. So you have to um, rename through MC Command Center. So, excuse me. Um, you can just go to Sim Commands and do maintain Sim and rename Sim. But before you do that, you have to go to the computer and you have to click on MC Command Center and MC Settings, um, Gameplay Settings, I believe. Oh, oh yeah, Maximum Rename Length. Okay, so Gameplay Settings and then Maximum Rename Length, and you can pick how long you want the name to be. But you're gonna have to do it every single time like after you go into Create a Sim with them, because in Create a Sim, they just allow you to have the limited number. Um, but okay, let's go to Save and Manage Worlds. Okay, so that is all of the nobles in Oasis Springs. So as you can see, we still have the Baron title that I, I should probably put a house here, um, but we still have the Baron title open. So maybe Manuel can take that title. So I, I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. But now we're in Willow Creek. So in Willow Creek, here we have the Duke of Willow Creek, the Duke and Duchess. Um, so Duchess, it's Isadora, so it's missing the letter, but Duchess Isadora, she is the one who holds the title. And this is her husband, Duke Nathaniel. Again, if I end up going with like whoever has the title, if the female has the title, then her husband would just be Lord. But uh, he is actually Nathaniel. He is Corinne's youngest brother. And then they have a daughter named Lady Cassidy. So right now that's the Duke and Duchess. And then we have the Baron of Willow Creek. So, okay, so <laughs> this is um, her Baroness Valentina. Her sister is Dowager Queen Evangeline. And we, her and her husband, they had two boys. Uh, you guys know Lord Maxwell from Charles's storyline when they, when I had the miniseries, the Royal Twin Adventures miniseries. So he was in that a lot, but he did have an older brother named Lord Lucas. We very recently had killed him in the stream because everyone was saying that Maxwell should just get the title of Baron when his mother passes away. So that's what he, we, or that's what we did. Um, and now he's going to inherit the title when his mother Valentina passes away. And then that would make Journey Baroness. 
But Journey's currently pregnant. She'll probably be having her baby in a couple episodes. But yeah, Journey and Maxwell, they live here now. Um, we feel bad for, for killing off his brother. I'm pretty sure we did the same to his father too. And I feel really bad. Um, but that is the Baron household. And then we have our Earl here. Um, pretty sure we had also killed off Countess, Ca uh, sorry, Countess Katerina's husband. So he's gone now and she has the title. So she's Countess Katerina and then her sister is Lady Helena. So she was the one married to Marquis Michael. And this was their son, Michael and Helena's son, Lord J. But then this is Lord Percival and he is Countess Katerina's son. So this, like, yeah, so Helena moved in with her sister and that is their household now. Um, and then here we have the Marquis of Willow Creek. So this is Marchioness Tina. Um, oh, actually, so her husband, we killed him off in a stream. Um, her husband was the one who held the title. So I put the D in front because it's supposed to be Dowager Marchness now. I haven't been doing that for everyone, but I figured I would start doing it now. So her son is now the Marquis. So this is Marquis Liam. He's the oldest. He'll be turning into a teen, I think, fairly soon. And then this is uh, her youngest daughter. This is Lady Eloise. And of course, our Royal family of Willow Creek's doing well. The wedding venue is almost done. Um, so whenever I can do a full episode again, that will be in the next episode is Corn Farm's wedding and I'm really excited. So this is actually uh, Notre Dame de Paris in the gallery. I thought it was perfect. We had to really knock out the inside of it, but it's gonna be really cool. I'm so excited. Um, next, who is, oh, Brindleton Bay. Okay, so for Brindleton Bay, we have Duke James. This is King Johan's younger brother, Duke James. And then this is his husband, Lord Ian. So what I was saying about the titles before, that's why Ian is Lord Ian. And then they have two dogs. They have Biscuit and, oh no, sorry, not two dogs. They have a dog and a cat. So they have Biscuit and they have Cupcake, <laughs> the stream named them. <laughs> and I think it's really cute. They also named um, Molly Grace's cat Oreo. So this is Oreo. This is Molly Grace's cat. And then we have the Marquis of Brindleton Bay, Marchness Kayla. She's the one who has the title. Um, I still have her husband as Marquis Wyatt. So that should technically be Lord Wyatt. I hope this isn't too confusing saying like what I should be doing and what I'm currently doing. But I, I just wanted to make you guys like more aware so you guys can get some ideas for your game. I want to specify too, there's really no right way to do this. It's your world, so you can do whatever you want. It's a made up world. Um, I have to look up some stuff that I want to base off of other royal families or just to get ideas from what the other royal families do, like in real life. But you guys don't have to follow all of that. You guys can make up your own rules if you want to, because I've had a lot of people ask about um, that for their own game. So just wanna let you guys know that. But Marcia's Kayla, she's the one who holds the title. This is actually one of Makai's ex-girlfriends. Um, he had a couple, so this is one of his ex-girlfriends. And this is her husband, Marquis Wyatt. This is Queen Corinne's older brother. So we had them get married and him marry her and give it the title of Duke so we could give it to James. But this is their daughter, Lady Ember. And then we have our Baron here. So, or Baroness, sorry. So, oh. I think we killed off her husband. Let me check. I'm curious because I don't remember. I think she was married to someone. I think we killed her husband in this dream. And I think that is her sister-in-law, Hazel, that was living there. And then her son, I believe. But let's find out. Oh, okay. So yes. So this is, I have the D in front for Dowager Baroness Christina because her husband was the one who held the title. Her husband was... Baron Andrew of Brindleton Bay, and then their son that they had is now Baron John because his father held the title. So she's actually um, Dowager Baroness Christina. And then this is her, this is Christina's sister-in-law, Hazel. Her brother is Lord Jaden, and he's the one who's married to Marchioness Ezra of Wittenberg. So that is this 
current household. I'm curious for John. He he still has some time before he turns into a teenager. I never updated his outfit, but that I can do that another time. And then the last noble family in Brindleton Bay here is Countess Bell and Earl Francisco. So Francisco is Nea's. He's the second oldest out of Nea, Francisco and Megan and Michael. Actually, maybe Michael was born first, but Megan and Michael are twins. So he's the older brother, but Nea's younger brother, if that makes sense. Um, but he was gifted the title by Philip, Nea's late husband. So he is now the Earl of Burlington Bay. And then you guys know Countess Bell or Princess Bell, and then their daughter, Lady Ariana. I gave her the last name of Stratton. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to do that yet. I've considered maybe once we get to the third season, giving the royal families and like the other families actual last names. I don't know 100% though. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. You guys can let me know what you think. I don't know if that's going to be more confusing. Um, some of the royal families have a different last name than their kingdom name but like the other noble families having the last name too. I just have it that way because it's easier to remember what they are than like the noble of or like where they're from. Um, but I gave her last name, Lady Ariana Stratton, but she would be the future Countess of Brindleton Bay. And then we have, of course, Sir Thomas Stratton here. Um, but yeah, that is our Brindleton Bay house and she is pregnant, she'll be having a baby fairly soon as well. And then after Burns and Bay, we had Sulani. So in Sulani, okay, this is slightly complicated. So I've mentioned, I think it was the first season, maybe late first season, or maybe it was the beginning of the second season, but there was this whole thing about how Leilana wanted to have more of like the noble titles from other kingdoms. Um, and she was going to give the title of Duke to Mackay, her cousin, and he thought things should be more traditional, so he didn't want the title, and they kind of got into a little argument about it, but so he didn't take it, and then his younger brother Kona took the title instead. So this is the Duke of Sulani, and um, let's see, so we have Duke Kona, his wife, Duchess Aurora, and then we have Lady Nani, who's one of Alice May's friends, and then we have Lady Tally, and then we have the twin boys, it's supposed to be Lord, but Lord Keone and Lord Nikau. So those are their kids. Um, and then of course we have Mackay. He's, I mean, a very well-respected family they are, and he is letting his kids have like the title of Lady and Lord too, but he's not, te like he doesn't have a noble title, but he's, I mean, he's tech like he's a royal and a noble. He's technically a prince if you think about it, because his mother is a sister to the past king, Leilana's father. Yeah, that's just kind of what I went with the game. I know it's super confusing, but it makes sense in my head. It probably doesn't make sense to you guys, and I'm so sorry, but that's what I decided to do in Sulani. Um, I didn't end up giving a title to Leah. This is one of Leilana's cousins. Um, it should be Lady Leah, and then this is Lady Marjorie. This, uh, this is her wife, Lady Marjorie. So Lady Marjorie is Queen Corinne's younger sister. And then this is their son, Lord Zachary. Um, and then we have, uh, you guys know, of course, Samaria and Bellatrix. So Samaria has the title of Marchioness. Bellatrix is still Princess Bellatrix. I still didn't know what to do yet about her last name. She's technically still Princess Bellatrix of Windenburg. And then Samaria is Princess Samaria, Marchioness of Sulani. And then their son was just born in the last episode, Lord Nohea. So after Sulani, we had Salvadorada and we had Guangxi. So Salvadorada, you guys know that is now combined with Dakarai. So in Salvadorada, right now it's not showing me the people who live here, but people definitely live here. Like Natalia and her mother live here somewhere. Azara is in here somewhere. Um, and then let me see if I can find the family. Okay, so this is the family. This 
is Cayman and Jabari's half sister. She's the Marchioness of Selva Dorada. So I think Elon and Natalia are gonna end up being the Duke and Duchess of Selva Dorada. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So in Dakarai, I don't actually have any noble families yet. I don't think I'm gonna add any anytime soon because I don't really have a purpose for them yet. Um, in the future, I'll make it work to where they can be part of the storyline. Like I don't wanna add Sims unless they're going to be part of the storyline. Otherwise, I just think it's kind of pointless. Um, but I will probably add some like more, I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see, um, but I'll probably add some other houses here and maybe have some people move here and just mark them as unplayed. And I will put more buildings here. Um, and they'll be the future houses for the nobles. So still building up Dakarai, not much to see here. I'll do, I mean, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for storylines in the future. So I'll make some families and I will see if I can make them work into the storyline. So that way we can have more nobles in Dakarai. And I don't really know if we'll have any more in Salvadorada because I'm trying not to have as many Sims live there because of the glitch. Um, but I will put them in Dakarai for sure. But next we have Guangxi. So now I will talk about the, well, oh, actually, let me show you the nobles first. Um, I think we've seen them fairly recently. We've definitely killed off a family here in one of the streams. So now I have, um, uh, sorry, Dowager Empress Mei Lin. So she's living here with Du Kentaro. And of course they're married now. So yeah, they, I moved them in here. And then we have Duke Kentaro's kids. They're still living in their old house. So when Duke Kentaro passes away, Lord Makara will inherit the title. And then this is Lord Makara's wife, Lady Harper. And this is his younger brother and Duke Kentaro's youngest brother, Lord Kai. And then we have the Baroness of Guangxi. So this is Baroness Bana, and she is the daughter of Du Kintaro as well. And this is her husband, Baron Connor, or if I changed the whole title thing, then it would be Lord Connor. So that's currently the nobles in Guangxi. So my idea for the new pack, because I have seen a leak of the world map, it looks like there's, first of all, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. Um, I know that there are, I believe three separate areas in the world. So there's one like by the train station that has what looks like a 64 by 64 lot. If it's not 64 by 64, it might be 50 by 50, but it's, it's a big lot and I'm so excited. It's big enough for a palace. And then there's another section like in the middle of the world. And then there's the last section that is like in the mountains where like all the skiing and stuff will happen. So the world is inspired by Japan. Um, for the most part, Glimmerbrook it, or Guangxi um, is inspired by Chinese culture. However, I've mentioned before that it's a bit of a mix. And I mentioned in my 60 Facts and Secrets video that one of the languages that they speak is Japanese. And then I also imagined that Mei Lin's mother was Japanese, which is why Takashi's name is Japanese. And of course, we, so, uh, Zayori's name is inspired by a Japanese name. But yeah, so since they're already mixed and since the other kingdoms, some of them are mixed as well, like Oasis Springs, the UKSD, they're mixed cultures. So we're gonna keep Glimmerbrook and then I'm going to make the new world an extension of Glimmerbrook. So I think I'm just going, I don't know yet. I think I'm just gonna keep calling it Guangxi, but like it, it'll all be one world. And then they'll have like everything here will stay exactly the same in Glimmerbrook. And in the new world on that big lot, we're going to have an actual palace and I'm so excited. Um, but at that one is going to be a, the builds that I've seen are Chinese inspired. So I might stick with that. But I think that maybe that section would be a more Chinese inspired area, like with the buildings and stuff. And then maybe the rest of it will be the Japanese inspired buildings, like what EA made it. Um, some of the kingdom, like Vanna and Dukantaro and all of them, 
Uh, some of their family is also Vietnamese, so it would be nice to have a section of the world that had some Vietnamese buildings and stuff as well. I just have to figure out how to make it work. I haven't seen the live stream yet. I haven't seen the pack yet. These are all just ideas. They're not 100% confirmed. I have to wait until the pack actually comes out to see what works. I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on things. It's not gonna be a new kingdom, just an extension of Glimmerbrook. Um, so that is my hope for the new pack coming out. I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited for the food there. If you guys saw, they also have a, a, a way to do the split levels or like kind of like a stage sort of thing. So we can have stages in our throne rooms now. But yeah, the food looked so good in the pack too. They have hot pot. I love hot pot. I'm so excited for hot pot. Um, but that is my ideas for the new pack coming out. It, I, I think I answered all the questions that people had about that. I'm trying to think if there was anything else, but if there is, I will definitely let you guys know. Now we have Chin Ching. So this is Han, where he was from. I haven't officially added them to like the whole Alliance of the Seven Kingdoms thing. Cause like, that's what I named the picture with all the monarchs because I don't have Emperor Li Wei in that picture. Obviously them and Guangxi are aligned because of Han and uh, Veraminta. Um, but I haven't really added them to the whole thing. They were never really meant to have a kingdom. It just worked out that way when this mod came out, the Asian Avengers mod by Nando. But I, I don't know yet if we're gonna add them. They probably won't end up being a main kingdom, but we'll see them every once in a while. But you guys know, this is Han's sister. This is Princess Tai, and this is Admiral Zhang, and this is their son, Lord Shen or Prince Shen. He's technically a prince. Um, so they are here. I have not given them a noble title. I think I might just keep it as Princess Tai and Admiral Zhang. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I, for now, I'm just gonna keep it this way. Um, but, so this right here, this is Duke Reese and Duchess Miso. They are actually characters from, excuse me, um, from my friend Evie's old Instagram story. So I'm going to put the, her, I'm going to put her gallery ID in the description below. But Miso and Reese were characters from her story and I absolutely loved them. They were my favorite characters in her story. So they didn't have kids. They were like in, were they in, they were in college in her story and their world was completely different. Their world was like way more modern, but she allowed me to let them come into this world. So it's like an alternate universe for them. And now they have two kids here. I'm gonna ask your guys' help for this. So her characters, she had confirmed uh, Reese, he is half Korean and half Portuguese and Miso is Korean. So they have kids. This is their son. It would be Lord, but this is their son, Jin, and this is their daughter, Sun. But I'm not stuck on these names. So if anyone has Korean baby name suggestions, please leave them below because I, I would like to pick different names for them. Um, I mean, if it's if I don't find other names, it's totally fine, but I just wasn't 100% sure. Like I wasn't stuck on these names. So I wanted to ask you guys, but yeah, they're the Duke and Duchess of Chin Ching. Uh, we will see them later, later in the story more. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I don't really have anyone else living here. These were just community lots. I hope this wasn't too confusing. I know that my brain is very scatterbrained and I, definitely mess up words a lot and I apologize. I knew that I had to just keep powering through because I can't edit this stuff out. Um, so I hope this was okay. I apologize if this was confusing. I tried to make it as simple as possible. There's definitely some work that needs to be done. I haven't just like played The Sims in a long time. Every time I do it, it's mostly for episodes or on the streams, but on the streams, we mostly take pictures anyway. I haven't been doing a lot of background work. I probably should do that. Um, but definitely some of the families need to be updated, need to somehow, I need to brainstorm some stories first, but definitely need to add some Sims for um, Docker Eye and Selva Dorada. And yeah, I think once the new pack comes out, I will probably, like I don't normally do pack reviews or anything like that, but I might do one for this one just because I, I'm i excited. This is the first pack I've been excited for since Island Living, I believe. 
what is it called again? I forgot what it's called. Oh, Snowy, uh, Snowy Escape, that's it. But let me know your guys' thoughts on the new pack um, and if you're excited for it as well. I don't know how often I will still be able to come out with videos. If I need to do another one kind of like this again, I might. I think that my wrist and everything should be good in maybe a couple weeks, um, but I'm not going to do a schedule or anything like that because I have I have no idea when videos are coming out, unfortunately. But I really, really appreciate you guys' patience. You guys have been so sweet. Um, I will definitely make sure I don't push myself because I know a lot of you guys were concerned about that. I am continuing to do story posts on my Instagram. I've been able to pick those back up. So my Instagram is in the description below and I am doing a lot on Alice May's story right now. I'll talk about it more in the next episode because I'm not quite done. It ended up being a lot more posts than I thought it was going to be. Um, but those are on my Instagram if you want to keep up with the whole royal story thing. But yeah, definitely leave baby name suggestions below for our Duke and Duchess's kids of Chin Ching. So make sure to leave those baby name suggestions. Let me know your thoughts on the new pack. I feel like I asked you guys for, oh yeah, let me know about the whole, like if the wife has the title, like the noble title, if you guys think I should be more accurate and have it where the husband just has Lord, or if I should just keep it the same way and have him have the title too. Um, so yeah, let me know all that in the comments below, but thank you guys again, and I will see you guys hopefully very, very soon. Bye.